Hi there, I'm looking to buy a new pair of headphones. Of course. We have a wide selection of headphones. What type are you interested in? I'm looking for over-ear headphones with good sound quality for listening to music. Great choice. We have some excellent options in that category. Are you looking for wireless or wired headphones? I prefer wireless headphones for convenience. Do you have any with noise-canceling features? Yes, we do. Here's a pair of wireless over-ear headphones with active noise cancellation. They're quite popular among our customers. That sounds perfect. Can I try them on to see how they feel? Absolutely. Here you go. Put them on and see if they fit comfortably. They feel really comfortable. The sound quality is impressive too. I'm glad you like them. These headphones also have a long battery life, so they're perfect for long journeys. That's exactly what I need. How much do they cost? These headphones are currently on sale for $150. That's within my budget. I'll take them. Great choice. Let me ring them up for you. Do you need anything else? Actually, I could use a headphone case to keep them safe while traveling. We have some protective cases right here. Would you like a hard or soft case? I think a hard case would provide better protection. I'll take one. Here's the case. It's $20. Would you like to add it to your purchase? Yes, please. I'll take the headphones and the case. All right. Your total comes to $170. How will you be paying today? I'll pay with my credit card. Sure, just insert your card into the payment terminal. There you go. Thank you. Here are your new headphones and the case. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you. I'm really excited to try them out. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to ask. I will. Have a great day. You too. Enjoy your new headphones. You know, I've been daydreaming a lot lately about traveling. Do you have any dream destinations? Oh, absolutely. I've always wanted to visit the Greek islands. The combination of history, stunning landscapes, and Mediterranean cuisine is irresistible. How about you? Greece is definitely on my list too. The history and culture there are fascinating. But, honestly, I've been dreaming of a road trip across the United States. That sounds incredible. The U.S. offers such diverse landscapes, from the Grand Canyon to the vibrant cities like New York. Any specific route you have in mind? I'd love to start on the East Coast, explore the historic cities, then head west through the national parks and finally end up on the stunning California coast. That sounds like a dream road trip, indeed. Speaking of national parks, have you ever thought about visiting the Canadian Rockies? Oh, absolutely. Banff and Jasper National Parks are high on my list. The pristine lakes and majestic mountains are breathtaking. They truly are. And if you're into hiking, New Zealand offers some of the most spectacular trails. Have you considered exploring the South Island? New Zealand is a hiker's paradise, and the South Island is a must-visit. 
Fjordland National Park and the Milford Track are calling my name. Those are excellent choices. On a completely different note, have you ever considered a cultural immersion trip, like spending time in a remote village? That's an intriguing idea. I think living with a local community and learning their traditions would be incredibly enriching. Maybe in Southeast Asia or Africa. Absolutely. It's a unique way to experience a destination. And on the topic of unique experiences, have you thought about going on a wildlife safari in Africa? That's on my ultimate bucket list. The idea of seeing elephants, lions, and giraffes in their natural habitat is awe-inspiring. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, for sure. And what about more off-the-beaten-path destinations? Any hidden gems you've heard of? I've heard Bhutan is a hidden gem. The untouched landscapes and focus on happiness rather than GDP make it intriguing. Bhutan is indeed a unique destination. And if you're into cultural immersion, you might consider exploring the Silk Road countries in Central Asia. Central Asia is fascinating with its ancient cities and Silk Road history. Uzbekistan, in particular, has some stunning architecture. It does. Well, we've certainly covered a lot of dream destinations. It's clear that travel holds a special place in our hearts. Absolutely. It's not just about seeing new places, it's about experiencing different cultures and creating lasting memories. Well, here's to making those dreams a reality. Let's start planning some of these amazing trips. Cheers to that. Traveling the world is a journey I can't wait to embark on. Hey, I was thinking about planning a trip somewhere. Want to join me? That sounds like a fantastic idea. I'm in. Where are you thinking of going? I was considering a beach destination. What do you think about spending a few days by the ocean? That sounds amazing. I love the beach. When are you thinking of going? I was thinking of going next month during the long weekend. It would be perfect for a short getaway. Sounds like a plan. Let's check the available dates and book our flights and accommodation. Great! I'll look up some beach resorts and hotels and share the options with you. While you do that, I'll make a list of some fun activities we can do there. Perfect! I'm so excited about this trip. It's been a while since we traveled together. Me too. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to relax on the beach and soak up the sun. And maybe we can try some water sports too. I've always wanted to go snorkeling. That's a great idea. I'm up for some snorkeling adventure. We'll have a blast. Let's also explore the local cuisine. I've heard they have some delicious seafood dishes there. Definitely. Trying new food is one of my favorite things about traveling. You're always up for trying new food. It's one of the reasons I love traveling with you. And you're always up for exciting adventures. We make a great travel duo. Absolutely. We complement each other's interests perfectly. Okay, I found the dates. It looks like we have a long weekend on the 20th. Awesome. I'll start searching for flights and hotels that fit our schedule and budget. Let's book everything as soon as possible to get the best deals. Agreed. I'll send you the options for flights and accommodations later today. 
Sounds good. We can decide together and make the bookings. I can't wait for this trip. It's going to be a memorable experience. I'm looking forward to it too. We always have the best time together. That's true. It's the company that makes the journey unforgettable. Cheers to another epic adventure. We're going to have a blast. Cheers. To new experiences, laughter, and the joy of traveling with a great friend. Hey, how was your weekend? It was fantastic, thanks for asking. I went hiking in the mountains with some friends. That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to go hiking there. You should definitely try it sometime. The views are breathtaking. I'll keep that in mind for my next weekend getaway. What did you do over the weekend? I had a more laid-back weekend. I caught up on some reading and watched a movie. Nice, sometimes a relaxing weekend is just what you need. Exactly. Did you do anything else during the weekend? Yes, on Sunday, we had a barbecue in my backyard. It was so much fun. Barbecues are the best, especially when the weather is good. Absolutely. How about you? Any plans for the upcoming weekend? Not sure yet. Maybe I'll visit the local farmer's market and try some new recipes. That sounds like a great plan. Let me know how it turns out. Will do. Oh, by the way, have you been to the new cafe that opened downtown? No, I haven't. Did you check it out over the weekend? Yes, I went there with some friends. The coffee was fantastic, and they had delicious pastries too. I'll have to give it a try. Thanks for the recommendation. No problem. It could be a nice place to hang out over the weekend. Agreed. Maybe we can go there together next weekend. Sounds like a plan. Let's do that. Hi, I'm Emily. It's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you too, Emily. I'm new here, just moved to the city last week. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. What brings you to the city? I got a job offer at a tech company, so I relocated for the position. That's great. What role will you be taking on at the company? I'll be working as a software engineer. I'm excited about the new opportunity. That's fantastic. I'm sure you'll do well in your role. Thank you for the encouragement. How long have you been living in this city? I've been here for about five years now. It's a vibrant and friendly place. That's good to hear. I'm looking forward to exploring the city and meeting new people. There's a lot to see and do here. If you need any recommendations, feel free to ask. I appreciate that. I'm also eager to make new friends. Do you have any favorite spots in the city? I enjoy spending time in the parks and trying out different restaurants in the downtown area. Sounds like a plan. I'll make sure to check them out. By the way, do you have any hobbies? I enjoy playing guitar and hiking on the weekends. How about you? I love reading and exploring nature trails too. Maybe we can go hiking together sometime. That sounds like fun. 
I'd be happy to show you some great hiking spots. Thanks, that would be great. I'm also curious about the local culture and events. The city hosts various cultural festivals throughout the year. It's quite diverse and vibrant. I'm thrilled to immerse myself in the local culture and attend some of those events. You'll have a fantastic time. People here are friendly and welcoming. That's good to know. I'm already feeling welcomed with our conversation. I'm glad to hear that. If you have any questions or need help settling in, just let me know. I appreciate your kindness. It's reassuring to know there's a friendly face around. Of course. I'm happy to help. The city is now your new home, and we're all here to support each other. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to making the most of my time here. You're very welcome. Enjoy your time in the city, and if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks again. I'll definitely keep that in mind. It was lovely meeting you. Likewise. Take care, and see you around. Hey, sweetheart, I need to run to the grocery store. Do you want to come with me? Yes, Daddy. I always love going to the store with you. Great. Let's grab our shopping bags and head out. Daddy, can we get some ice cream today? Sure, we can pick up a small tub of your favorite ice cream. Yay! Thanks, Daddy. No problem. Remember, we need to pick up some vegetables and fruits too. Okay, I'll help you remember the list. First, let's head to the fruits and vegetables section. Daddy, look at those apples. Can we get some? Of course, grab a few of them. And let's get some bananas too. Got it. Now, we need some bread and milk. Let's head to the dairy aisle. Daddy, can we also get some cheese for grilled cheese sandwiches? That's a good idea. Let's grab a pack of cheese slices. Daddy, can we get some cereal too? Sure thing. You can pick one box of your favorite cereal. Thanks, Daddy. Okay, I think we have everything we need. Now, let's head to the ice cream section. Yay! I almost forgot about the ice cream. All right, we're all set. Let's head to the checkout. Hi there. Did you find everything you needed? Yes, thank you. Just these items today. And the ice cream. Of course, the ice cream too. Your total is $27.50. Here you go. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thanks for taking me to the store, Daddy. I had so much fun. You're welcome, sweetheart. I always enjoy shopping with you. Can we make ice cream sundaes when we get home? Absolutely. Ice cream sundaes it is. Good morning. Good morning. How can I assist you today? I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately. I have a headache, a sore throat, and I feel tired. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's start by taking your temperature and checking your vital signs. Your temperature is slightly elevated, 
and your blood pressure seems normal. When did you first start experiencing these symptoms? It began two days ago. At first, I thought it might be just a cold, but it hasn't improved. I see. It's essential to rule out any potential infections. I'll conduct a physical examination to check for any signs of illness. I notice some redness in your throat and mild congestion in your chest. Based on your symptoms and examination, it's likely that you have a respiratory infection, possibly the flu. Oh, I was afraid it might be something like that. Don't worry, it's essential to catch these things early. Let's do a rapid flu test to confirm the diagnosis. The rapid flu test came back positive. You do have the flu. I guess I'll need to take it easy for a while. Yes, rest is essential for a swift recovery. Drink plenty of fluids and get as much sleep as you can. Is there anything else I can do to feel better? Over-the-counter pain relievers can help reduce your headache and body aches. Also, try using saline nasal spray for your congestion and a sore throat lozenge for relief. Thanks for the advice. Should I stay home from work until I'm better? Yes, please avoid going to work or public places to prevent spreading the flu to others. You should stay home until you're fever-free for at least 24 hours without the use of fever-reducing medication. I'll do that. Should I be concerned about any complications? In most cases, the flu resolves without any complications. However, if you experience difficulty breathing, persistent high fever, or worsening symptoms, don't hesitate to contact me immediately. I will. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to call the clinic. I will. Thank you again for your help. Take care and get plenty of rest. You'll start feeling better soon. I hope so. Goodbye, doctor. Goodbye. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Hi there. Have you had a chance to look at the menu? Yes, I have. Everything looks so delicious, but I can't decide. No worries, take your time. Do you have any dietary preferences or restrictions? I try to eat vegetarian whenever I can, but I'm open to suggestions. Great! We have a few excellent vegetarian options. The vegetable stir-fry and the spinach and mushroom risotto are popular choices. Both of those sound good, but I'm also in the mood for something with pasta. Do you have any pasta dishes? Absolutely! Our pasta dishes are quite popular. The classic spaghetti carbonara and the vegetable lasagna are fantastic. Hmm, carbonara is tempting but I'll go with the vegetable lasagna. It's been a while since I've had a good lasagna. Excellent choice. Would you like a side salad with that? Yes, please. And I'll have the Caesar salad. Perfect. And for your drink? I'll have a glass of white wine, please. Something light and crisp. Certainly, I recommend the Sauvignon Blanc. It pairs nicely with the lasagna. Sounds good. And, for dessert, what do you recommend? Our tiramisu is a house favorite. It's light, creamy, and just the right amount of sweetness. Tiramisu it is, then. I've heard great things about it. Wonderful choice. 
I'll get your order in right away. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Actually, I have a question about the evening specials. Can you tell me more about the seafood special? Of course. Tonight's seafood special is a grilled salmon fillet with a lemon dill sauce served with roasted vegetables and quinoa. It's a flavorful and healthy option. That sounds delicious. I might have to try that next time. Absolutely, it's a popular choice. Enjoy your meal, and I'll make sure your lasagna and Caesar salad are prepared to your liking. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Good evening, madam. Welcome to Epicurean Bistro. I'm Thomas, and I'll be your server tonight. How are you? Good evening, Thomas. I'm doing well, thank you. The restaurant looks lovely. Thank you for your kind words. We're delighted to have you here. To start, may I offer you a drink from our wine and cocktail menu? I'll have a glass of your house red wine, please. Of course, madam. And would you like to start with an appetizer tonight? Yes, I'd like to begin with the charcuterie board, please. An excellent choice. Our charcuterie board is a delightful way to start your meal. Now, let me introduce you to our menu. Do you have any dietary preferences or restrictions? I eat everything, Thomas, so surprise me with your recommendations. Certainly, madam. For your main course, I recommend our signature seafood platter. It features fresh oysters, lobster tail, jumbo shrimp, and king crab legs, served with drawn butter and lemon wedges. That sounds indulgent and perfect. I'll have the signature seafood platter. An excellent choice, madam. And would you like to pair that with a particular wine from our selection? What wine would you recommend with the seafood platter? I suggest our Chardonnay. It has crisp citrus notes that complement the seafood beautifully. Sounds great. I'll have the Chardonnay with the seafood platter. Perfect. And for dessert, our chef specialty is the chocolate souffle. It's a warm, decadent delight. Chocolate souffle it is, then. I can't resist a good chocolate dessert. A wonderful choice, madam. I'll get your order in right away. If you need anything else or have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you, Thomas. I'm looking forward to this dining experience. It's my pleasure, madam. Your meal will be prepared with the utmost care. If you have any further requests, feel free to ask. Enjoy your evening. Good morning. How was your weekend? Morning. It was pretty good, thanks. I finally finished that novel I've been reading for ages. How about yours? Nice. I spent most of Saturday at a local art gallery, and on Sunday, I tried a new recipe for homemade pizza. It was a fun weekend. How's work been treating you? Work's been okay, but I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed lately. We have this tight deadline for a client project, and it's been keeping me busy. How about you? I can understand how that deadline pressure can be stressful. Work's been steady on my end too. We're preparing for a big presentation to potential investors this week. Wow, that sounds like a significant opportunity. I hope it goes well. How do you prepare for such presentations? 
Thanks. It involves a lot of research and rehearsing our pitch. But it's also a chance to showcase our team's hard work, which is exciting. By the way, how's your commute these days? The commute has its ups and downs. Some days, the bus is surprisingly on time, and I get some reading done. Other days, it feels like I'm stuck in traffic forever. I know what you mean. Commutes can be quite unpredictable. I've been using my commute time to listen to podcasts. They make the journey more enjoyable. That's a great idea. Any favorite podcasts you'd recommend? I've been into a history podcast called Hardcore History lately. The episodes are long, but they're incredibly detailed and well-researched. Hardcore history sounds intriguing. I might give it a try. I've been looking for something new to listen to. How about you? Any recommendations? Absolutely. If you're into tech and innovation, How I Built This is fantastic. It features interviews with the founders of famous companies and startups. That sounds fascinating. I'll add that to my list. By the way, do you have any new apps or tools you've been using at work? I've been using Slack for team communication, and it's been a game changer. It streamlines our conversations and keeps everything organized. Slack is great for collaboration. We've recently adopted Asana for project management, and it's been quite efficient. Asana is excellent for managing tasks and projects. It helps keep everyone on the same page. We're almost at our stop. Ready to tackle another workday? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's make it a productive one. Absolutely. Let's get off at the next stop and head to the office. Hi. How's your daily routine been lately? Hey. It's been quite busy, as usual. My weekdays usually start with the alarm ringing at 6.30 a.m. That's an early start. What's the first thing you do after getting up? I usually hit the snooze button once or twice before I finally roll out of bed. Then, it's straight to the kitchen for some coffee to wake me up. Coffee is a morning savior for many. I prefer a good cup of tea to start my day. How do you manage your time in the morning? I like to plan my day, so after coffee, I spend about 15 minutes reviewing my to-do list and checking my emails. Then, it's time to get dressed for work. Planning is essential for a productive day. I like to meditate for a few minutes in the morning to clear my mind before I start working. Meditation is a great way to center yourself. I should give that a try. So, what's next in your morning routine? After meditation, I do some light stretching exercises to wake up my body. It helps with flexibility and prevents stiffness. That's a healthy approach. I usually head to the gym for a morning workout. It gives me an energy boost for the day. Exercise in the morning is fantastic for getting those endorphins flowing. What about breakfast? Do you have time for a proper meal? I try to. I'll have some oatmeal or yogurt with fruit and a bit of honey. It's a quick but nutritious start to the day. That's a balanced breakfast. I usually have a hearty meal in the morning, like scrambled eggs with toast and avocado. Sounds delicious. I might need to reconsider my breakfast choices. How about your work routine? I usually start work around 9 a.m. I work remotely, so I set up my home office and get into my tasks for the day. Remote work offers flexibility. 
I typically head to the office. Once there, it's meetings, emails, and projects until lunch. Lunchtime is a welcome break. I like to prepare a fresh salad or a sandwich. It's a chance to recharge and step away from the screen. Agreed. I usually bring a packed lunch or grab something from the nearby deli. Afternoons are a mix of more work and maybe a short walk. A short walk is a great way to break up the day. I do that too. And in the evenings? I finish work around 5.30 p.m. Then, it's back home to relax. I might watch some TV, read a book, or cook dinner. Evenings are precious for winding down. I like to cook a nice dinner as well, or maybe order in if I'm feeling lazy. A good meal can set the tone for the evening. After dinner, I try to avoid screens and focus on unwinding. That's a smart move. I do the same. I might listen to music, practice a hobby, or just chat with friends and family. Socializing in the evening is a great way to stay connected. Well, it's been nice talking about routines. They keep us on track, don't they? Indeed, they do. Everyone's routine is unique and reflects their priorities. Thanks for the chat, and have a relaxing evening. You too. Have a great evening, and we'll catch up soon. Good morning. I'd like a table for two, please. Good morning. Of course, right this way. Here's a nice table by the window. Is that okay? That's perfect, thank you. Can we see the menu, please? Certainly. Here are the menus. We have a variety of coffees, teas, and some delicious pastries. Do you need a few moments to decide? Thank you. I'll have a cappuccino, and my friend will have a chai latte. We'd also like a croissant to share. Great choices. One cappuccino, one chai latte, and a croissant to share. Anything else for now? That's it for now, thank you. Oh, and could we get a glass of water too, please? Of course, I'll bring that right over. Your drinks and croissant will be out shortly. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Not at the moment. Thank you. We'll enjoy our drinks while we catch up. Wonderful. Enjoy your time, and if you need anything else, just let me know. Have a great day. Excuse me, could we get the check, please? Of course, I'll bring that right over. Here's your bill. You can pay at the counter whenever you're ready. Thank you so much. Everything was delicious. You're very welcome. I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed your visit. If you ever come back, we have some new seasonal drinks you might like to try. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Thanks again, and have a great day. You too. Take care, and I hope to see you again soon. Hi there. How do you wind down before going to sleep? Hey. I've got a little nighttime routine that helps me relax and get ready for bed. It starts around 9 p.m. That sounds like a good plan. What's the first thing you do? Well, I dim the lights in my room to create a cozy atmosphere. It's a signal to my brain that it's time to wind down. Dim lighting can be soothing. I usually like to read a book before bed. It helps me relax and escape into a different world. Reading is a great choice. I prefer to take a warm bath. 
The feeling of warm water is so comforting. A warm bath can definitely help with relaxation. Do you have any specific bedtime snacks or drinks? I like to have a cup of herbal tea, like chamomile or lavender. It's caffeine-free and helps me calm down. Tea is a good choice. I usually avoid caffeine in the evening too. Sometimes, I have a small snack, like a piece of fruit or yogurt. A light snack can be satisfying without being too heavy. So, what's your screen time like before bed? I try to limit it. I'll watch a TV show or movie occasionally, but I avoid scrolling through my phone or computer. The blue light can disrupt sleep. Your right blue light from screens can interfere with sleep quality. I aim to put my phone on silent mode and keep it away from the bed. That's a good habit. I do the same. I also like to listen to some calming music or white noise to drown out any background sounds. White noise can be surprisingly effective. It masks other sounds and helps you focus on relaxing. How about your sleep environment? I make sure my room is cool and well ventilated. I like to sleep with the window cracked open for fresh air. Fresh air is important. I have blackout curtains to keep the room dark. I find it easier to sleep in a completely dark room. Dark curtains are a smart choice, especially if you're sensitive to light. I also have a comfortable mattress and pillows. A good mattress and pillows are crucial for a restful night's sleep. I invested in a quality mattress a few years ago, and it made a big difference. Absolutely. A comfortable sleep environment can make all the difference. Well, how many hours of sleep do you aim for? I try to get around 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. It leaves me feeling refreshed in the morning. That's a healthy goal. I aim for about the same. Sleep is so important for our physical and mental well-being. It really is. A good night's sleep sets the tone for the day ahead. Well, it's been great chatting about our bedtime routines. Here's to a restful night. Agreed. Thanks for the chat and sweet dreams. Good morning. How was your weekend? Morning. It was pretty good, thanks. Spent some time catching up on my reading. How about yours? Nice. I had a relaxing weekend too. Took a short hike on Saturday and then binge-watched a new series on Sunday. Sounds like a perfect mix of relaxation and activity. So, how's work been treating you lately? Work's been busy, as usual. We're in the final stages of that big project, so the pressure's on. But it's also exciting to see it all coming together. How about you? I hear you on the busy part. Things have been a bit hectic on my end too. We're launching a new product next month, and there's so much prep work to do. New product launch? That's exciting! Tell me more about it. It's a software tool designed to streamline project management. We've been working on it for a while now, and I think it's going to make a big impact. That does sound promising. If it makes project management more efficient, it's bound to be a hit. By the way, how's your commute been these days? It's been all right. I've been trying to make the most of it by listening to audiobooks. Keeps me entertained during the long drive. That's a smart way to use your commute time. I've been trying to catch up on podcasts. Do you have any good book recommendations? Definitely. 
I just finished The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. It's insightful and has some practical tips for improving productivity. The Power of Habit has been on my list for a while. I'll have to check it out. Thanks for the recommendation. Speaking of productivity, have you been using any new apps or tools for work? I've been experimenting with a task management app called Trello. It's helping me stay organized and on top of deadlines. Trello is a great choice. I've used it in the past, and it's quite versatile. I've recently started using a time tracking app to see where my work hours are going. Time tracking can be eye-opening. It's a good way to identify where you might be spending too much or too little time. Absolutely. It's all about finding that balance. Anyway, we're almost at the office. Ready to tackle the day? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's make it a productive one. Agreed. Let's go rock this Monday. Hey, I was thinking about doing some shopping this weekend. Need anything? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. I could use a few new shirts and maybe some shoes. How about you? I'm in the market for a new backpack and some kitchen appliances. Want to make a day of it and go together? That sounds perfect. Where do you want to go shopping? The mall or some specific stores? I was thinking we could start at the mall. It has a variety of shops, so we can cover most of our shopping list there. Great. I've heard there's a big sale going on at the department store in the mall. We might find some good deals. Sale? Count me in. I love a good bargain. What time should we head to the mall? How about we meet up around 10 a.m.? It's early enough to beat the crowds but not too early to enjoy a leisurely breakfast first. Sounds like a plan. I know a great little cafe near the mall where we can grab some breakfast and coffee. Perfect. I'll be craving some caffeine by then. Do you have a shopping strategy, like which stores to hit first? I was thinking we could start with clothing stores since that's on both our lists. Then, we can move on to electronics and kitchen appliances. That makes sense. I've been eyeing a new smartphone, so I'll keep an eye out for deals on that. And we can check out some kitchen gadgets for you. Awesome. It's always more fun shopping with a friend. Do you have any preferences for lunch, or should we just grab something at the food court? Food court works for me. There are plenty of options, and we can refuel quickly without wasting too much shopping time. Agreed. After lunch, we can tackle the rest of our list, and maybe even do a little window shopping for fun. Window shopping is always enjoyable. You never know what interesting items you might discover. Are you planning to pay with cash or card? I'll use my card. It's more convenient, and I can keep track of my spending better that way. How about you? Same here. Plus, many places offer discounts if you use their credit card. It's worth checking out. That's a good point. It's always nice to save a little extra. All right, it's a shopping date then. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. It's been a while since I've had a shopping day. See you at 10 a.m. on Saturday. See you then, and get ready to shop till we drop. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately about starting a small business. Really? That sounds exciting. 
Any particular idea in mind? I'm leaning towards something in the digital space, maybe an online store. You know, selling handmade crafts or unique finds. That's a fantastic idea. The online market is booming. What kind of crafts are you thinking? I've been into handmade candles and soaps lately. It's a growing niche, and I enjoy making them. Nice. So, what's stopping you? It could be a great side hustle, or who knows, it might even turn into a full-fledged business. I'm just a bit worried about the initial investment and whether people would actually buy them. It's natural to have concerns, but think about it this way, you're offering something unique. And with platforms like social media, you can reach a wide audience without breaking the bank. You're right. I've been eyeing those online marketplaces. Maybe I could start by setting up a small shop on one of them. That's the spirit. And you know what they say, start small, dream big. Plus, I'll be your first customer. But seriously, any tips on managing a side business with a full-time job? It's all about balance. Set realistic goals, manage your time wisely, and don't forget to enjoy the process. And hey, I could help you with the social media side of things. That would be awesome. I appreciate the support. It's a bit daunting, but I'm excited about the possibilities. It's a journey, and you're not alone. Remember, every successful business started small. Who knows, maybe we'll be celebrating the grand opening together someday. Hi, Daddy. How are you doing? Hey, sweetie. I'm doing well, just a bit busy with work. How about you? How's everything on your end? I'm good, thanks for asking. School's been quite busy, but I wanted to catch up with you. It's been a while since we had a good chat. I've been missing our chats too. Tell me, how's school going? Any exciting news? Well, I made the school soccer team. I've been practicing a lot, and I'm so excited about it. Remember how you used to play with me in the backyard? That's amazing, sweetie. I'm really proud of you. Yes, I remember those backyard soccer matches. It's hard to believe how fast you've grown. Thanks, Daddy. I wish you could come to one of my games, but I know work keeps you busy. How's your project going? I wish I could be there too. The project is challenging, but it's coming along. It's been taking up a lot of my time, but I'll make sure to clear my schedule for your games. How's your brother? Is he keeping you entertained? That would be so great! My little brother is a handful, but he's been good. We built a pillow fort last weekend, just like the ones you used to make with us. Pillow forts, huh? I remember those. I'm glad to hear you're taking care of your little brother. You're becoming quite the responsible big sister. Thanks, Dad. You've always been a great example for me. Speaking of which, Mom says you're coming home next month. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you too. I miss you and your brother so much. We'll have some quality family time when I'm back. I'm counting down the days. We can play soccer in the backyard, just like old times. And maybe build a bigger pillow fort. That sounds like a fantastic plan. I'm really looking forward to it. How's your mom? Is she doing okay? Mom's good. She's been busy with her art classes. 
She even started a new painting. I'll show it to you when you're back. Your mom's talent never ceases to amaze me. I can't wait to see her new artwork. Please tell her I said hi. I will, Daddy. I'll tell her you said hi, and we're eagerly waiting for you to be back home. Thanks, sweetie. It warms my heart to hear that. I'll do my best to wrap up work quickly and be back with my two favorite people. We can't wait. Love you, Daddy. Love you too, sweetheart. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Wow, this place looks amazing. The holiday spirit is in the air. Right? They really went all out with the decorations. And look at that tree, it's massive. It's like a Christmas wonderland in here. Have you tried the eggnog? Oh, it's delicious. They added a hint of cinnamon. You should definitely try it. Cheers to a holly, jolly Christmas. So, any exciting plans for the holidays? I'm heading home to spend Christmas with my family. It's been way too long. That sounds wonderful. I'm just looking forward to a break from work and some quality time with friends. Classic carols always get everyone in the mood. Do you have a favorite? I'd say Jingle Bells. It's so upbeat and festive. What about you? I'm a sucker for Silent Night. There's something magical about it. Oh, the dessert table. Have you tried those gingerbread cookies? Not yet. Lead the way, my friend. These cookies are amazing. You have to try one. I will, I will. Let's grab a few for the road. This has been such a fantastic party. I'm leaving with a full heart and a belly full of cookies. Couldn't agree more. Here's to making more memories and spreading joy this holiday season. Excuse me, I'm having trouble finding the organic section. Can you help me? Of course. I'd be happy to help. The organic section is just a few aisles over. Follow me, and I'll show you. Thank you so much for your assistance. I'm trying to make healthier food choices for my family, and I heard the organic options are a good way to start. That's a great choice. The organic section is right here. We have a variety of organic fruits and vegetables, dairy products, and even some packaged goods. Is there anything specific you're looking for? I'm looking for organic fruits and some dairy products. Oh, and I heard you have a local honey selection here too. You've got it. Our local honey is right here on this shelf. It's produced by a local beekeeper, and it's quite popular. As for organic fruits and dairy, let me show you our selection. That local honey sounds wonderful. It's always nice to support local producers. Thanks for guiding me through this. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need assistance with anything else, feel free to ask. We're here to help. Actually, I do have another question. I'm trying to reduce plastic waste, and I notice some of the products here have eco-friendly packaging. Could you point me to those? Absolutely, we have a section dedicated to eco-friendly products. It's this way. We offer items with biodegradable packaging, reusable containers, and other environmentally friendly options. That's fantastic. I'm really trying to make more sustainable choices. Do you have any recommendations for products with eco-friendly packaging? 
well, our eco-friendly laundry detergent is quite popular. It comes in a refillable container, and you can bring it back to the store for a refill. It's a small step, but it can make a big difference. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'll give it a try. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. It's great to see more people making sustainable choices. If you have any other questions or need assistance, just let us know. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to have such a helpful supermarket employee like you. It's my pleasure. I'm here to assist and ensure you have a great shopping experience. If you ever need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. Hey there. Long time no see. I know, right? Life's been a bit of a whirlwind. Coffee is definitely in order. I'm in the mood for something strong. Maybe a double shot of espresso. Going straight for the caffeine punch. I'll keep it simple with a flat white. So, what's new in your world? Same old, same old. Work, deadlines, and more work. But I can't complain too much. How about you? I hear you. I've been juggling a few projects too, but nothing a good cup of coffee can't fix. Ah, that's the stuff. So, any exciting plans for the weekend? Well, I was thinking of catching that new movie everyone's talking about. Want to join? Absolutely. I've heard it's a must-watch. Which day are you thinking? Saturday evening works for me. We can grab dinner afterward. Perfect. It's a date. And speaking of dates, how's your new? Oh, you heard about that? Word travels fast. Spill the beans. How's it going? It's going well. We're taking it slow, you know? Coffee dates, movie nights, the usual. We should do this more often. It's nice to unwind. Definitely. Let's make it a regular thing. Coffee, movies, and catching up. To more caffeine-fueled conversations and good times. Cheers to that. Good evening. I'm ready to order. Good evening. I'm here to assist. What would you like to start with? For an appetizer, I'll have the garlic bread with cheese, please. Excellent choice. And for your main course? I'll go for the grilled salmon with asparagus and roasted potatoes. Great. How would you like your salmon cooked? Medium rare, please. Noted. And any sauce with that? I'll have the lemon butter sauce on the side. Grilled salmon with asparagus, roasted potatoes, medium rare, and lemon butter sauce on the side. Got it. Will you be having dessert tonight? Yes, I'll indulge in the chocolate lava cake. A delightful choice. Would you like that served with ice cream or whipped cream? Ice cream, please. Chocolate lava cake with ice cream. Is there anything else I can get you? I'll also have a glass of the house red wine. A glass of the house red it is. Your order sounds wonderful. I'll get that in for you right away. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. You're welcome. Your appetizer should arrive shortly, followed by your main course. Enjoy your meal, and if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. Hey, sweetheart, I need to run to the grocery store. 
Do you want to come with me? Yes, Daddy. I always love going to the store with you. Great. Let's grab our shopping bags and head out. Daddy, can we get some ice cream today? Sure, we can pick up a small tub of your favorite ice cream. Yay! Thanks, Daddy. No problem. Remember, we need to pick up some vegetables and fruits too. Okay, I'll help you remember the list. First, let's head to the fruits and vegetables section. Daddy, look at those apples. Can we get some? Of course, grab a few of them. And let's get some bananas too. Got it. Now, we need some bread and milk. Let's head to the dairy aisle. Daddy, can we also get some cheese for grilled cheese sandwiches? That's a good idea. Let's grab a pack of cheese slices. Daddy, can we get some cereal too? Sure thing. You can pick one box of your favorite cereal. Thanks, Daddy. Okay, I think we have everything we need. Now, let's head to the ice cream section. Yay! I almost forgot about the ice cream. All right, we're all set. Let's head to the checkout. Hi there. Did you find everything you needed? Yes, thank you. Just these items today. And the ice cream. Of course, the ice cream too. Your total is $27.50. Here you go. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thanks for taking me to the store, Daddy. I had so much fun. You're welcome, sweetheart. I always enjoy shopping with you. Can we make ice cream sundaes when we get home? Absolutely. Ice cream sundaes it is. I've been thinking about taking a trip. How about planning a vacation? That sounds fantastic. Any specific destination in mind? I was thinking of exploring Europe. The idea of experiencing different cultures and cuisines is so appealing. Europe it is. Any particular countries you want to visit? I've always wanted to visit Italy for its rich history and delicious food. Maybe we can start there and then explore nearby countries. Italy is a great choice. Rome, Florence, and Venice have so much to offer. And from there, we can easily hop to other European cities. Look at this. There's a direct flight to Rome with reasonable prices. And we can get a URL pass for traveling within Europe. That's perfect. How long are we thinking of staying? I was thinking two weeks. It gives us enough time to explore Italy thoroughly and maybe spend a few days in a neighboring country. Great. Let's make a list of must-visit places and activities. I've heard the Amalfi Coast is breathtaking. Absolutely. And we can't miss the Colosseum in Rome and the art in Florence. I found this charming bed and breakfast in Florence. It's centrally located, and the reviews are excellent. That looks perfect. And we can't forget to try authentic pizza and pasta in Rome. Definitely. We might need to pack some stretchy pants for all the good food. So, we have the flights, accommodation, and an outline of our itinerary. Anything else we need to consider? Travel insurance, maybe? It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'll look into that. And we should start learning some basic phrases in Italian. I can't believe we're doing this. It's going to be an amazing trip. I can't wait. It's going to be a journey of a lifetime. Here's to new adventures. 
All right, honey, it's time to head to the supermarket. We need to stock up on groceries for the week. Sounds good. Do we have the reusable shopping bags ready? Yes, they're right here. We're trying to be more environmentally friendly, remember? Right now, we're making an effort to reduce plastic waste. Before we go, let's review our shopping list. We need eggs, milk, bread, and some fresh fruits and vegetables. Eggs, milk, bread, fruits, and veggies. Got it. We also need some chicken for dinner and a few snacks for the kids' lunches. Don't forget the cereal, dear. It's a breakfast favorite in our house. Cereal, check. And we can't forget the kids' request for ice cream. Ice cream is a must. We'll make sure to grab a few flavors. How about dinner for tonight? Any cravings, or should we stick to the plan? Let's go with the plan. Homemade pizza night sounds good. We'll need pizza dough, cheese, and some toppings. Pizza night it is. I'll make sure to get pepperoni, mushrooms, and bell peppers for the pizza toppings. Perfect. While we're there, let's also pick up pasta and pasta sauce for tomorrow's dinner. Sounds like a plan. And, honey, let's not forget coffee for you. I know how essential that is. Thank you. Coffee is a must. And speaking of essentials, we should restock on diapers and baby food for our little one. Diapers and baby food are noted. Is there anything else we should get while we are at the store? I think that covers everything. We're set to go. Let's head to the supermarket. Remember, dear, no impulse buying in the snack aisle. I promise, I'll stick to the list. Let's go get our groceries and enjoy some family time. Sounds like a plan. Let's get going. Hey, Mike. It's good to see you. You, too. I haven't seen you in a few days. How are you? How's it going? Not bad. I'm so busy with the classes I'm taking. How about you? I'm okay. I know you're busy with classes. My job's really hectic this time of year, too. What's new with you? Nothing much. I'm on my way to the mall. I need some time off. Do you remember Lana? She's there. Ha! She's always at the mall. I think a lot of our friends plan to just hang out at the mall tonight. Who? Oh yeah. I remember Lana. She's the one with the scary looking dog. I don't want to hang out with that dog. Ha! You aren't afraid of that little tiny dog, are you? Well, I'm sure Rover isn't at the mall. Actually, I'm headed to the mall later, anyway. There's a huge sale going on. I think they're open extra late. Great. Maybe I'll see you there. Sounds good. We're both good shoppers. If I get there before you leave, maybe I'll see you. After all, we aren't leaving until we see all the sales. And I'm not leaving until I have some cute new shoes. Alright, sweetie, we've got our list. What's the first on our shopping adventure today? Hi, Daddy. Can we start with the ice cream aisle? I heard they have a new flavor. Ice cream it is. Let's go check it out. Is there a specific flavor you're hoping to get? I want to try the new caramel swirl. It sounds delicious. Caramel swirl it is. While we're here, do we need any other frozen treats? Maybe some popsicles for hot summer days? Oh, yes. Let's get those rocket-shaped popsicles. They're so much fun. Rocket popsicles, check. What's next on our list? We need milk for sure, and some cheese slices for sandwiches. Great. We'll head to the dairy section. 
While we're there, how about some yogurt? Can we get the strawberry one, please? It's my favorite. Of course, strawberry yogurt it is. And what about cheese? Do you prefer cheddar or Swiss for your sandwiches? Cheddar, please. It's so tasty. Cheddar cheese, check. Now, what's on the list after that? Mom said we need some fresh vegetables. Let's get some broccoli and carrots. Healthy choices. I'm proud of you. Broccoli and carrots it is. And don't forget, we should grab some apples and bananas too. Right, apples and bananas. Let's make sure they're not too ripe. Absolutely. Now, what's next on our mission? Well, we can't forget about cereal. Can we get my favorite honey-flavored cereal? Of course, honey cereal it is. Anything else in the grocery maze today? We're almost done, Daddy. We just need some bread for our sandwiches. Perfect, we're getting everything we need for some delicious meals. Now, is there anything special you'd like for yourself? Hmm, how about some chocolate chip cookies? Just a small pack, please. You got it. Chocolate chip cookies it is. I think we've covered everything on our list. Thanks, Daddy. This was a fun shopping adventure. I love spending time with you. I love spending time with you too, sweetie. It's moments like these that make the supermarket feel like a grand adventure. The best adventure ever. I've got everything ready to send this package to my cousin. They're going to love the surprise. That's thoughtful of you. What's inside the package? It's a birthday present. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but let's just say it's something they've been wanting for a while. That's fantastic. How are you planning to send it? I'm considering the best way. I want it to get there quickly but without breaking the bank. I think a courier service might be the way to go. Have you looked into different courier options? Some have special services for fragile items. That's a good point. I'll do some research and check the reviews. I want to make sure it arrives safely. You might also want to ensure it's tracked, so you know where the package is at all times. Yes, tracking is important, especially for valuable packages. I don't want it to get lost. I think I've found a reliable courier. They offer tracking, and they have good reviews. That sounds like a good choice. Do they have different delivery time options? Yes, they offer standard and expedited shipping. I think I'll go with the standard option to save on costs. Standard should be fine for most packages. And it should still get there in a reasonable time. I'll fill out the shipping details, including the recipient's address and my contact information, just in case. Don't forget to securely wrap the item inside the package. You don't want it to get damaged during transit. You're absolutely right. I'll make sure it's well padded and protected. When is it scheduled for pickup? They'll pick it up tomorrow morning, and it should be at my cousin's place in a couple of days. I can't wait for them to receive it. I'm sure they'll love it. You've put a lot of thought into this package. Thanks for your help and suggestions. Now, I just have to wait for the delivery confirmation. Hi there. Mind if I share this table? Not at all. Please, have a seat. I'm Mike, by the way. Thanks. 
I'm Jenny, nice to meet you. I was getting some work done, and this place seemed cozy. Same here. It's my go-to spot for a change of scenery. What brings you around? Just escaping the office walls, you know? Plus, the coffee here is fantastic. Do you come here often? Guilty as charged. This place has the best espresso. By the way, do you have a favorite coffee drink? I'm a cappuccino person, through and through. How about you? Espresso all the way. Nothing beats the simplicity of a good shot. So, what do you do when you're not conquering the corporate world? Conquering might be a strong word, but I'm in marketing. It's a whirlwind, but I love it. How about you? I'm a graphic designer. Spent most of my time creating visuals that hopefully make people stop and think. Graphic design sounds fascinating. What drew you to that field? I've always been fascinated by the power of visuals. A well-crafted image can communicate so much, you know? Absolutely. It's like a language in itself. Do you have a favorite project you've worked on? Tough question. But there's this campaign for a local charity that I'm particularly proud of. It's amazing how design can impact social causes. Well, it's been great chatting with you. I should get back to my to-do list. Same here. But hey, we should do this again. Maybe next time, we conquer the corporate world together. Absolutely. I'm up for the challenge. See you around, new friend. Hey there. How's your day going so far? Morning. It's been good. Started with a cup of coffee and some good music. How about yours? Not bad. Checked emails, had a quick meeting. What's on your agenda for today? I have a project deadline, but I'm hopeful. Also planning to hit the gym after work. Nice balance. I need to get back into the gym routine. How's the project coming along? Making progress. Had a brainstorming session with the team. We're on the right track. Speaking of progress, any exciting plans for lunch? Just a sandwich and some fruit today. Trying to keep it light. How about you? Same here. Trying to resist the temptation of the nearby pizza place. Any post-work plans? Thinking of catching up on a series. Do you have any recommendations? Stranger Things is always a good choice. By the way, did you get a chance to read the memo about the upcoming team building event? Yes, I did. The escape room sounds fun. Are you in? Definitely. I've been practicing my puzzle solving skills. Should be a blast. What's your go to escape room strategy? I'm all about communication and checking every nook and cranny. Team effort. Solid strategy. By the way, any exciting news or surprises today? Well, I found out it's Bring Your Pet to Work Day next week. Considering bringing my dog. How about you? That's awesome. Sadly, no pets for me, but maybe I'll get a plant. Ready to call it a day? Definitely. Let's conquer tomorrow. Agreed. Maybe tomorrow we can grab a coffee before diving into work. Sounds like a plan. Have a great evening. 
Good morning. How was your weekend? Morning. It was great, thanks. I finally had some downtime. How about yours? Pretty good. I caught up on some sleep and binged a new series. Ready to tackle the week? Definitely. Speaking of which, did you get the memo about the team meeting this afternoon? Oh, no, I haven't checked my email yet. What's on the agenda? Just the usual updates and a new project briefing. Shouldn't take too long. Sounds manageable. By the way, did you get a chance to review the draft for the client presentation? Yes, I did. Looks solid. I made a few minor edits. I'll send it over after our meeting. Thanks. I appreciate your input. Oh, did you hear about the office party next month? Yeah, I saw the announcement. What's the theme this time? It's a 90s throwback party. I'm thinking of going as a grunge rocker. Nice. I might go for the Fresh Prince look. Gotta find a neon windbreaker. Haha, <laughs> that's going to be epic. On a different note, have you had a chance to look at the new software update? Not yet. Is it user-friendly, or are we in for a learning curve? From what I've seen, it's pretty intuitive. We might need a brief training session, though. I'll check with IT. Sounds good. Let me know if they schedule it, I don't want to miss out. Will do. And finally, I heard there's a lunch promotion at the new cafe downstairs. Interested? Absolutely. I'm in. Let's aim for a midday break. Perfect. I'll send you a calendar invite for the Café Rendezvous. Ready to tackle Monday? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this.